one of the questions we get frequently is, well, I have a high serum hormone binding globulin, which means that a lot of my testosterone is bound and not available to get into my cells. Is there anything that I can do to lower it? And unfortunately, the answer is no. Like I have a high SHBG, I have no idea why, and I just have to work around it. We do know certain conditions uh, that make higher SHBGs. Uh, we do see it um, in uh, people with substance abuse, for example, um, but it's very unpredictable. And um, the interesting thing is that we do find sometimes that it does go down, ironically, with testosterone replacement therapy, which is sort of a double bonus because you're getting more testosterone and a higher percentage of it is available to go into the bloodstream. But it sort of sucks to have a high SHBG and we just have to work around it. What we do find since we treat lots of men um, uh, with testosterone is if they have a high SHBG, then we do find that in order for them to feel better, we have to give them uh, more testosterone because a good percentage of it is just not useful to them.